What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another channel right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. So right here I've got my service cart and I absolutely love this one. The model on this one I'm gonna have a look is KRSC33APRK which is a flat black flip lid style um, cart here and I've added a couple little accessories to it and I like having this one to be able to roll around the whole shop. Yes I do have my nice big toolbox behind me but can't always roll it around. But one of the things that I like to carry with me all the time is a funnel. Now, what happens with this funnel? Either A, it disappears, you know, those five finger discount little sons of guns, they just take it all over the shop. Detail guys grab it, use it in something and never bring it back. So I like to have spares here and there, but I don't like to have that all the time. The other thing that kind of sucks about it is if I put it in my holster down here on the side, it just ends up dripping little bits of oil and stuff around, you know, when I get done using it or drip stuff on the side of my cart, which that sucks too. And I hate having to clean my cart off. So what kind of solution do I have? This one I picked up this week off the Matco truck actually is a funnel buddy. Part number on this one is 50-1. And as you can see, it comes in the wrong color. So. I think that we would uh, be able to make a really sweet project out of this one today. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this and I'm going to do some custom paint to it and we're going to attach it to the cart right here, make it look like it's supposed to go onto a snap-on cart. So stay tuned. So here on the side of my cart, you can see that I've got the three little station storage thing where I usually am able to keep some of my impacts that I have throughout the day. I usually keep a spray bottle hanging there. And like I said, my funnel, some, some of the times when I'm using it, just kind of sits there or I'll throw it down underneath. But again, that just kind of makes a mess. And then on the other side, I just got the standard handle that comes with the cart right here and then we've got the slots and dots and i was you know kind of thinking on you know possibly using that for a hammer rack or something along those lines and then let's have a look on the inside on the inside we've got the pry bars if you pull up the little thing on the side here it does have the holes that go all the way through to be able to put whatever pry bars you want in either side keep rags and a couple of extra bits of hardware here on the other side as well that makes it, you know, a nice all around little thing to be able to uh, have what I need when I need it. So my idea now, yes, it is kind of blasphemy on wanting to put a Matco tool onto a snap on cart. But you know what? I think Matco, they rebrand things so often that we can make that work for us. What do you guys think? So the plan is to de-sticker the Matco stuff off of this one. We can do that one really easy. And then we'll scuff it all up. And then we've got some flat black paint that we're gonna get to match. The mounting holes on it, you can see they've got it right here and here. We're gonna be doing a little bit of adjusting so we can get it to work with our slots and dots. And we're gonna see if we can't get this funnel buddy to look like it is a snap-on accessory for a snap-on tool cart. So, Let's get the de-stickering and start to scuff it up for paint. And as we can see to get these off, the little funnel insert part just kind of pulled out right there. And then this lower part has two little tabs here and here. You just use a pair of pliers to pinch and it comes back on up through. So that's getting all the hardware out. So now all we have to do is get the uh, set of Crapco, I mean Matco stickers off here so we can do some scuffing and get ready for paint.
put a sticker on my sticker with. All right, so I don't use my cart or my toolbox for sticker bombs, but I use my lift. So where else do you guys keep sticker bombs? In the comments below, I want you to leave some comments of where you guys leave sticker bombs. So this is my one rack, so we're gonna fill that one up here real soon, I'm sure. What would we be using if we didn't use snap-on tools for the prep service? Get to prepping. The other thing before we start painting is we want to make sure that the uh, holes right here match up to our slots and dots on the side of the cart. So they're pretty close, but we're going to have to drill one extra little hole. One hole is going to have to come in about a quarter of an inch in on the one side, and once we do that, it'll line up pretty much perfectly. We'll be able to put some screws and washers in after we get it all painted, but we want to make that hole, get that drilled before we start doing any painting. There we are. As we can see now, we've got our hole drilled in just a little bit, so we're going to clean this back up off, and it's all nice and smooth, so it's not going to scratch up our box at the same time, too. So for the paint-wise, what I decided to go with was some uh, Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel, uh, flat black. Let me see what we got and what we're working with. Primer and paint all in one. So we're not really going to need to do a whole lot on this one. We just want to do some nice thin, even coats to get this thing all nice and coated. And the nice thing about working in the shop, racks are nice paint little paint booth holders. Hang them up. Ridiculous. Tip already gone. And we better close the door just in case. We don't want paint flying everywhere. Number two. Coat number tray. All right, well. We've got three total coats on this thing now, and I'm pretty happy with how this thing has turned out. Let me get this close up here. The flat has matched actually really nicely. So we've got one more little piece that we've got to add to this just to make it, you know, seem a little bit more at home. We've got ourselves a nice snap-on carbon fiber weaved little uh, badge that we're gonna put on the top of this. So it's gonna look a little bit more official going on our snap-on cart. Let me give it a shot. Carefully. 
Mmm. Just like that. It looks so pretty. It looks oh so pretty. That flat black with the black carbon fiber. All right, let's get her mounted up now. All right, so now I've got a couple of the fasteners left over from my slots and dots from when I put my power cabinets together. So we're just gonna use those small screws that I had left over from that before. All right, what do we think? Here on the front section, or right here, kind of front middle. Yeah, let's go with this section, second section over. tight pretty right guys let's get our funnel see what she looks like there we go now the ease of this one is you've got all that nasty stuff in your funnel you just put it on right in there all drained right into your little opening here we are with the finished product Doesn't hang down too low. Our snap on a carbon fiber S to make it kind of official there. And this flat black ended up matching really, really good with the flat black of the actual cart. That sheen to a flat. Let me get some light on here. Yep, that flat just matched absolutely perfect. I think that turned out fantastic. And it's gonna be something that's gonna stay there and nobody's gonna be messing with because it's actually attached to my cart. Yeah, they might borrow it here and there, but I'm not gonna be making a mess or anything, traveling it all around the shop as well. Well, pretty easy project as you guys can see. It's something you guys can do for yourself and it's gonna work with just about any other slots and dots that you guys have on any other kind of service parts or whatnot. I think it'll be a nice little addition to be able to put this thing onto the cart and have it here with me wherever I need to go. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, hit that little bell notification. So if you guys are subscribed, you guys get notified on when I come out with cool, awesome content like this. Uh, if you're interested in this product, I will leave it down in the description below so you guys can get yourselves uh, one of these as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Thank you, and as always guys, you stay awesome.